Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Box Office Receipts for the weekend of December 14th, 2018. I'm your host, Tyler Callahan, and we have a lot to talk about this weekend, so let's get right into it. To start off, let me go over the weekend numbers. Coming in at first place is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse with $35.3 million. In second place is Clint Eastwood's the latest film, The Mule, with $17.5 million. Third place, we see The Grinch still holding strong with $11.7 million, bringing its total to $239. Point four million down to fourth place from first from the past few weeks is Ralph breaks the internet at nine point two million, bringing its total to one hundred and fifty four point one million. Finally, entering in at fifth place on fire is Mortal Engines with seven point five million dollars. So before I go over the international numbers, let's go over what I got right and got wrong. My lineup for this weekend was first place Spider Man to the Spider Verse, then Mortal Engines, The Mule, Ralph breaks the internet, and then The Grinch. Obviously, I failed in two parts here. First is that Mortal Engines would implode that fast and that Ralph would not have that good of legs. So for the actual numbers, I was a bit off with Spider-Man by about 30 to 35 million. Projections had it at around 30 to 40 million, which was accurate. However, I was on the side that it might blow up a bit, but it did not. Now, it did get an A-plus cinema score, which would mean it has good word of mouth and ideally good legs. So for Sony, they should not have to worry about the domestic gross of this movie. It should easily pass 100 million domestic, maybe even make 150 million. For the mule, I was closer with my prediction being 10 to 15 million dollars, and it ended up a bit above that. Once Upon a Deadpool also came out last week, and that was the one I was the closest on. I said it would not make much, and thought 3 million for the weekend, and it came in at 2.6 for the actual 3 day weekend, with its overall total now at 3.8 million. Now for the movie everyone is talking about for the wrong reasons. Mortal Engines. I had this at around 15 to 20 million, with its budget around 100 million dollars would already be bad enough. But nope, it came into theaters on fire and crashed at 7.5 million. Now there are reports saying that Universal and the other smaller studios that funded this could lose anywhere from 100 to 150 million on this movie. Just when everyone thought Solo would be the biggest bomb of the year, Mortal Engines might just take that title. Now moving over to international numbers, the biggest movie is still Aquaman. Starting out in China, Aquaman is still doing great, with it making around 54.4 million for the weekend, which is only a drop of 42%, which is really good. In China, Aquaman has made 195.8 million so far, with it seemingly locking in at 250 million when all is said and done. Aquaman also opened up in other countries around the world, and overall for the weekend, including China, made 131.3 million, bringing its worldwide total to 266 million with it opening up in the United States this week. It seems that this odd release schedule is working out for Warner Brothers, as all the numbers are great so far. This week is the week, the week where movies will enter the theaters and battle out for people's money. Spider-Man and Mortal Engines was just the appetizer, and now we have the main course. Starting off on Wednesday is Mary Poppins Returns. Now for a lot of movies released this time of year, they won't have a strong opening, but usually good legs. So for Mary Poppins getting good reviews and is a good choice for families to watch, I'll say around 30 to 35 million for the weekend, but around 45 million for the overall five day projection since it opens on Wednesday. Next is Bumblebee, the latest Transformers movie, but actually good based on reviews. Having a Rotten Tomato score in the 90s is a first for Transformers. However, this is not your normal high action one. This is more grounded Transformers movie focused more on Bumblebee and seems to be more family friendly. Now Box Office Pro is saying around 21 million for the opening weekend, but I think good word of mouth will make this go a bit higher at around 25 to 30 million. The last big movie we got is Aquaman, finally coming to the shores of the US. Aquaman should come in first place this weekend with a solid showing of around 70 to 75 million dollars. There are also some smaller movies coming out this weekend as well with Second Act and Welcome to Marwin. Now I do not know much about these movies except that one star is Steve Carell and the other star is Jennifer Lopez. For this I'll just pull from Box Office Pro. They are saying six million dollars for Second Act and four million for Marwin. And I kind of agree with that. So for the top five for the weekend, here's my order. In first place, Aquaman. Second place, Mary Poppins Returns. Third place, Bumblebee. Fourth place, Spider-Man. And fifth place, Second Act. So that is it for this week's episode of Box Office Receipts. I'm really looking forward to this weekend with the kind of movies coming out. And I'll definitely be looking at the numbers throughout the weekend. Now, quick note, early next week is Christmas. So I will do an episode next week. However, it may not be up until next Wednesday or Thursday. Thanks for listening and happy holidays.